last year, I met up with an anchorite who spends a solitary life of prayer. And she said she prays and lives in the woods in California, as it happened. And I said, please just tell me what is your regimen, what, what, how, how is your life? And she said, well, I start off every day at 2 a.m. Oh, and I'd like you to know, Bishop Tuju, I pray for you every day. Well, I'm prayed for in the woods in California at 2 a.m. <laughs> I mean, what chance does the South African government stand? Somewhere. In May of 1985, Bishop Desmond Tutu delivered an impassioned speech to the California State Legislature, imploring them to adopt strong economic sanctions against his own country. Shortly thereafter, Bishop Tutu, with tongue-in-cheek, referred to the divestment debate while addressing religious leaders in Sacramento, California. It's nice to be felt sorry for, as sometimes you might feel sorry for us, but in, in another sense, there's no reason, actually, you ought to envy us. For it is infinitely easier to be a Christian in South Africa than to be a Christian around here. I mean, for us, the issues are so much more straightforward. You are either for or against apartheid. Voila! 